Cycling can be a great exercise that can help you burn fat. Besides being eco-friendly, cycling does help you increase height. So, what would be the right way to cycle? And what would be the right age to start cycling so that you can gain height? Let's figure it out. According to research published by Harvard Medical School, cycling for half an hour daily can help you increase your height. The report also states that you could lose around 300 calories by cycling each day, lose body fat, and stretch the muscles of your leg. Moreover, NCBI states that around 80% of the growth in the height of humans depends on genetics that they inherit from their parents. Although cycling doesn't contribute to your height directly, in some cases, it can be conducive to your growth. Your height largely depends on genetics, exercise and exposure to diseases also help in increasing your height. Another research states that the best time to start cycling is during puberty. Teenagers between 15 to 18 are most likely to benefit from cycling to increase their height. As we near the age of 20, the chances of our height increasing fade off. So, it's crucial to engage yourself in cycling from a young age. Along with this, it's important to prioritize a nutritious diet. Therefore, a calculated combination of diet and exercise or cycling can help you increase your height. How to increase height while riding a bicycle. These six ways can help you increase your height with the help of cycling. One. Raise your saddle up. If you are keen to increase your height by cycling, it's recommended that raise the saddle slightly up. When you position yourself higher up, you would be stretching the muscles of your legs. Particularly, the impact would be on your calf muscles, poplitis, and plantaris. As a result, the shin bone gets adequate room to grow freely with the stress on your legs. In the process, your leg muscles would lengthen, leading to an increment in height. 2. Stretch your spinal cord. While this might sound obvious, the right choice of your cycle or bike determines whether you adapt to the right posture while cycling. The mobility and equilibrium of the human body largely depend on the spinal cord. The vertebrae consist of 33 bones which remain fused together. In case you sit in the wrong posture while cycling, the spaces between the discs in your spine might reduce. This explains why it's crucial to purchase the right cycle that suits your needs. You can keep your spinal cord perfectly stretched with a proper height on your cycle. So, your position and the size of your cycle determine whether you can increase your height by engaging in this exercise. 3. Relax while cycling. It's often found that cyclists get carried away by their adrenaline rush. This is why it's repeatedly advised not to rush with your bicycles. Instead, you should relax while pedaling, taking care to stretch your legs fully. When you reach the pedals with your legs, make sure that your body alerts you. Over time, you should adapt to the changes in your riding style. Take care that the pedals are comfortable and flat. Uncomfortable pedals can lead to stress fractures and injuries. 4. Warm up before riding. Regardless of the type of cycle you are using, it's important to warm yourself up. This helps in activating the muscles of our body for exercise. The same applies when you think of cycling as an exercise to reduce your body weight or increase your height. Before going for a ride, make sure to stretch up your body for a few minutes. 5. Follow the right cycling schedule. When you start cycling, try to engage yourself in this exercise for at least 30 minutes a day. Later, try to extend this time to 50 minutes. Cycling for half an hour each day would burn 300 calories. 
This would make your body lean, besides strengthening your legs. As your body grows lean, you would naturally look tall. Cycling regularly, thus, makes you look taller. Try to relax your body and mind while taking some rest in between. This would prevent your leg muscles from experiencing fatigue. 6. Set a high gear ratio. One of the main advantages of using a gear cycle over a non-gear cycle is that you can change the gear ratio according to your requirements. Maintaining a higher gear ratio on your bike is recommended, which can indirectly help you increase your height. However, this would be challenging if you lack endurance and body strength. Take a break after 30 minutes and stretch your body before you restart. Firstly, make sure to hold the cycle tightly to stabilize your muscles. Otherwise, the muscles would develop fatigue quickly. As you go for a higher gear ratio, you can feel the impact on your feet. Eventually, this is bound to result in an increment in your height. However, this adaptation doesn't take place instantly, and you may have to cycle for months for a visible increment in height. Besides, the process also depends on your living conditions, hormonal functions, sleep cycles, and nutrition. So, do you want to grow taller by cycling? Let us know in the comment section below.